Hi everyone, it's Chloe here and I'm the owner, maker and creator of Emmy Creations. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video of my HTV Rant um, heat press. So I've had this sitting on the ground for a little bit of time, not really, for a week I think. And I've just been trying to figure out what project I'm going to make with it. So I just went to Spotlight and grabbed some um, cotton bags and I think I'm going to make a little tote bag with a bow graphic that I've been working on. So I'm going to quickly and grab that box and open it up and see what it looks like and how it works and I'll get started on DIYing. So I guess I should just get started. <sighs> Can I just say, this is a really heavy box. There's a package here. Oops. Okay guys, so just open the box up and there is this beautiful auto heat press machine that HTV hey Ron has sent me. Also, I forgot to thank them at the intro of this video, but thank you so much to HTV hey Ron for sending this gorgeous machine. I can't wait to get it out and, you know, getting it working. Um... But first I need to figure out how I'm going to get out of the box. <laughs> but anyway, so in the box it came with um, this sheet, which is what I need to place over my vinyl before I put the heat press on top. So that's very important. And they also sent me some samples. And apparently this is an updated heat transfer vinyl. So I'm assuming it's better. Um... Uh, than their previous vinyl, I think, but it says it applies to 100% cotton, 100% polyester, polycotton blends as well. Um, so the bag I got is 100% cotton, so this should work really well. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what the colors are, but just having a look, the colors look pretty good. Hard to tell because I'm looking at the underside, so I'll take it take the vinyl out and I'll show you guys the different colors that comes in this sample pack um but yeah so I'm going to try and get this machine out of the box um I might struggle a bit hubby's not at home to help me so I'm kind of on my own with this one and unfortunately captain's not going to help me either right captain he's a little bit grumpy because he got groomed, he got a nice haircut and um, he's not happy right now. We had to put him into his pyjamas because he kept scratching his skin. So Mr. Captain's just gonna watch me unbox, I think. Oh my God, guys. It's so heavy. <laughs> so here is the machine. I'm just going to have to read the manual to see how it works. But the manual's not too thick, so it's probably a really easy um machine to use so I'm gonna figure it out I just have it on my dining table right now <laughs> because I'm yet to figure out where to put it but in terms of size it's actually not as big as I thought it would be um which is a good thing uh, I'm glad that it's not too big so um I'm really excited on how it's going to look and how it's going to work. So I'm going to plug it in, read the manual and figure out how to use this machine. And I also need to get my graphic cut as well. So let's see how this goes. Okay, guys. So I have it turned on 
and here is the screen so this is how i power everything and there's a lot of little buttons but it's actually a really simple thing to use so basically to power it up i need to hold on to this power button and then it will automatically turn on and the the top bit of the um, machine will uh, lift which meant that i could slide this bit out and place the material that i want onto it it's a bit warm right now because it's heated up um so yeah so better not to touch anything but basically if i want to set my own temperature i just need to press this temperature button and then press these plus or minus to um, set the temperature same goes for the time as well just press the clock and then i just set how long i want it to be i've kind of chosen a mode which is mode number one which gives me 300 fahrenheit which is roughly 150 degrees celsius um, but there are multiple modes and it basically gets hotter and longer so i'm assuming depending on the vinyl um, you may need a certain heat, I guess. Um, and then this is um, to create our own custom um, heat uh, uh, heat settings, I think. So if I press this, so you, you can see that it's reset. And now the button is flashing because it's at 300 degrees. And I need to reduce that back to, let's say, 200 and... 200 Fahrenheit or 210 Fahrenheit is the lowest so I can in so this is how you can increase and then the clock this is how I can increase in terms of the time um, the, the a with the rotate sign that is an auto button um, so that is if you don't need to use any settings and they'll automatically do it for you so right now the R button is cur currently flashing so once it stops flashing that's when the machine is ready to heat your item so I'm going to so now that I know how this works I'm just gonna have to figure out the Fahrenheit situation because in Australia we follow degrees Celsius so I'm just gonna do a bit of research and figure out what the temperature is best for their vinyl and then once I figure that out I'm gonna choose my colors and then I'm going to get it cut on my silhouette and so yeah we'll see how that goes so I guess before we get started, I'm just going to open this and I wonder if, okay, so here it says, so what's really great about this is that it actually um, lists all the different instructions. Um, so with this one, it states that cut the vinyl with cutting plotter using a 30 degree or 45 degree blade appropriate pressure um, so craft cutter settings so I have a silhouette cameo 4 and a Cricut um, but because the Cricut joy is too small for this particular project I'm gonna try and use my silhouette and see how it works and what's really great is that it actually tells you the settings that you should work on um, so it says blade 3 force 8 speed 5 material smooth and it needs to go through twice um, so I'm assuming the vinyl is quite thick that's probably why we need to have it run through twice it doesn't state the temperature it might state it on the other side so I'm just going to take this instruction out okay so here are further instructions um, so weeding so yes I've got all the weeding tools so here it says so in terms of application it can do a wool and cotton so I've got a cotton tote bag um, so it says to place on a flat and hard surface an iron or ironing board um, Press iron with medium or firm pressure, do not slide iron. So this is just if you have a home iron, but I have a heat press. So I should be reading the heat press, kind of reverse, yes I know that. So I need to preheat the garment for two to three seconds. So I need to iron my, my bag, it's a little bit crinkled at the moment, so I just need to iron it. Um, so I need to apply it at 305 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's perfect use light or medium pressure for 10 to 15 seconds okay cool great so they tell me how hot and how long which is perfect because i wasn't sure um so and obviously i'm working with really high temperatures so i need to make sure that i don't peel it straight away otherwise i might burn my fingers um, but once it cools down i can peel the the film off um so yeah this is great this is really good and it also gives us care instructions which is really useful so i'm gonna make some if i'm going to sell these bags i'll definitely be adding these care instructions 
into the um onto a card for with the product so this is great this is a really good um fact sheet for us to learn how to use the heat transfer vinyl and also gives us the settings on how to use the heat press as well so those these instructions came with the sample vinyl which is really useful so let's see the colors Ooh. okay so with the vinyl um oh wow okay so okay so this is the side is this the side yes this is actually the side where i see which is what the color will look like and there's a lot of colors so there's the white which i probably won't be using because my bag is a beigey color um comes with a green a blue a silver black Let's see if they have brown. Pink, wow, very bright pink. Oh, I like pink, I like that. That's a really nice color, maybe I'll use that. Uh, red, gold, and then there is this um, turquoise color as well. So it comes with a lot. I actually have another pack of vinyl as well, so I might just grab that and see the colors in that. Okay, so this is a pack of vinyl that I received previously. I haven't opened it just yet, so I might take the opportunity to do that right now. And this vinyl is also from HTV Ront, um, and I might just consolidate them all. But in terms of colours, so this one has the blue, a vintage pink, rose gold, I would say. That's quite nice. A green, yellow. Oh, a light pinky color. I actually really like that color. I might just pull that out. A white as well. Silver, turquoise again, and this um, mustardy color as well. So I think I might use the pink for this. I'll see. I think there was a pink in here as well. So there was a bright pink. Well, I like the lighter pink. I know, I wonder if that will show up nicely. <laughs> um, otherwise, I might just use black. I don't know, I kind of want the bag to not look so dull, if that makes sense. I'll just grab the bag and see how the color might go with it. Yeah, I think the pink is too light. So maybe I'll just be safe and just work with the black color vinyl, which I think I saw. It was right here somewhere. What's the black? Anyways, so it's really great that they sent me some samples so that I can, you know, test run um, using this vinyl. And I, as you can see, I have a lot of colors. Um, actually, there was that really nice vintage pink color. Anyways, so really great that they sent me all these samples. So thank you so much. Um, and I'm going to choose my colors and then I'm going to go to my silhouette and start cutting my design. Okay, so before I start cutting, this is the graphic that I'm going to put onto the bag. A, su a super cute little um, dim sum graphic with a Silong Bao family and there's a little quote that states, dim sum buddy say yum cha. I thought that would be a really cute first tote bag um, idea. So I'm going to send this to my silhouette and see how it works. Um, wish me luck because my silhouette has been acting up a little bit. So let's see how it goes okay so here is my graphic on my silhouette program and you can notice that i've mirrored the image because i will be eyeing it on the um the side that they noted on the vinyl sheet so it needs to be mirrored um here is my silhouette with the vinyl stuck on so i had to put the glossy side on the underside and then the matte side on top so basically similar to what i was doing before with the um with my project bags i cut on this side of the vinyl and then i weed all the parts that i don't need so i'm going to get that started you also notice that with my cameo my motor starts here rather than over there reason for that is because the machine is broken i don't know why i don't know how i don't know how to fix it but you know it is what it is but i've managed to keep using it for some reason but anyways i am 
going to see if this works or not and I'm just going to check all the settings are right and use the black vinyl as a test um, to make sure that it all works well. Guys, okay, it's very noisy because I'm using my silhouette. But, oh, I accidentally pressed the start button without, like, making sure everything was right. So, right now I have my fingers crossed that I did not just waste the whole sheet of vinyl. And hoping that everything cuts fine and weeding will be okay. Because I was leaning on my laptop and I accidentally pressed start. Oh, I can't believe I did that. But anyways, um, it's very noisy. That is how noisy the silhouette is. And... Um, yeah, hopefully it will be okay. Okay guys, moment of truth to see if my silhouette cut through the vinyl before I even make sure the settings are okay. So, let's see. Let's see if it's okay. Okay guys, I'm gonna get started, so wish me luck. Let's let's hope this works. Oh my god guys this is what the final bag looks like it looks so good i'm so happy with it um the only thing i need to add is probably just my um, business name which i have little um little bits of my branding uh cut already because i use it for my project bags and i'm thinking i'll put sticking it or not stick ironing on right here so i'll do that later um but this is what the final bag looks like with the graphic that i um brought into silhouette and got it cut and everything so it looks so good i'm actually so happy with it um i hope um, maybe I could sell this at my next market, which is um, at Coco Kauai on the 24th of September, which is not that far away. So, and just a few little quick comments about the HTV Ront and in terms of usage, super easy to use, super quick, um, no issues whatsoever. So, this has got me so excited. I'm going to make one more tote bag in the vintage pink color and to see how that color is if i like that color i might buy more but the black is really nice and also the vinyl is a has a matte finish so it's a very nice finish as well so i'm going to get started on the second bag and i'll show you guys what the second one looks like very soon Okay guys, so this is the final look of the pink version of the tote bag and it looks amazing. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Uh, one thing that I did notice with this vinyl compared to the black vinyl, I think because with the black one it was in the new pack that I received, whereas the vintage pink 
vinyl was from an older pack that I received when I got the mini heat press and I think the heat settings for the pink was a little bit different to the black so I had to reduce the heat setting of this one to 250 Fahrenheit instead of the 305 um, because I realized when it was too high I couldn't peel the plastic off the vinyl so I had to wait for it to cool down and then I had to um, do another press at a lower temperature and it it came off much more smoothly um so yeah but otherwise it came out really nice i really like this color actually i'm not a really pink person but i really like this color so i might purchase more of this um, vintage pinky color to add to my vinyl collection i think um but yeah really loved how these bags turned out i'm actually thinking about whether i should sell these bags at my next market which is at coca Kauai, like i said on the 24th of september um but yeah i want to get your thoughts on that actually i want to know if you think it's a good idea if i should sell these um bags at my market um yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how well they will sell. So I'm really curious to know what your thoughts are. And again, I wanted to say a massive thank you again to HTV Romp for sending me the auto heat press machine. It is such an easy machine to use. Um, seriously, there was not much that we uh, that I needed to do. All I had to do was take it out of the box, put it on the table, plug it in, turn it on, and that was it. So super easy to use. The only thing now, I need to find a place for this machine because I feel like I'm going to be using this machine quite often. So I'm going to have to talk to Hubby and figure out a solution in terms of where I can place this HTV Ron auto heat press machine in our small one bedroom apartment. So that's going to be a fun task. But otherwise, um, this was a really fun little DIY project that I got to do. And I'm really excited about what else I can do with the auto heat press machine. Hubby told me to make some t-shirts for his work. Um, which I think is not a bad idea because we can definitely save a bit of money there. Um, so yeah, maybe I will make him some t-shirts for his colleagues or maybe just for myself for the markets maybe. Maybe I can make a shirt with this graphic on it and I can wear it at the markets. And then if people like it, they can buy it. Maybe like, oh, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, maybe that's my next DIY project with the HTV Rod Auto Heat Press Machine. So anyways, I am going to stop rambling and i um, going to go on and do other things I have to do with my small business. But otherwise, if you guys have any questions about the HTV Ron um, Auto Heat Press Machine, just leave them in the comments below. Um, but otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys all very soon. Bye!